We're going to work on three aspects of the swing and really simple stuff, but what I'm betting on is at least one of those three you're missing from your swing, and that's probably why you're not hitting as far as you could. And if we happen to have speed gained as a byproduct, that's fantastic. I'm not going to make speed a focus, but one of these three things you need. Let's get to work. Okay, first, and, and hear me out. I know it seems basic, but man, it's your address. And, and when you address the ball, I'm talking about pressures more importantly. Pressures and ball position. So what has to happen is if you ha have played any other sport, baseball, basketball, you know that a dynamic stance, an athletic stance, one that allows you to move, is somewhere on the balls of your feet, not on your heels. If you start on the heels, your body has to stand up to right itself. You're not going to start heels and make a full turn. So pressures have to be balls of your feet. You need to feel as though when you're ready to pull the trigger, that you cannot do this. If you can lift your feet, you have too much pressure on your heels. You need to rock forward, maybe move back from the ball, make sure your knees are bent, and learn where the spot is that you cannot lift your feet, but you can wiggle your toes. Back here, no good. Up here, perfect. Pressure has to be right to get that club to turn around your body properly. Now, ball position is important. I want that ball to be a fist back of your heel. The reason is, if the ball is too far back, you're not going to turn through as much as you could to generate as much speed as you like. And I, I know we talked about not being about speed, but if it's incidental, fantastic. So we want your body to turn through and we can make a full rotation with the ball more forward. With the ball back in your stance, we don't get full rotation, nor do we get full speed. So third and most important sweet spot. I'm going to take three swings. I'm going to hopefully show you toe, heel, and center strike with the same speed, same path, and I'll show you what a difference in distance it makes to hit the sweet spot. So worst shot was 10 yards shorter than my best shot, and second worst shot was 8 yards shorter. That's one club length. Now that's just finding the sweet spot. And how do you find the sweet spot? Here's how you do it. You're going to take some impact tape unless you've got a launch monitor. That's the kind of tape that bruises when the ball hits it. You can use uh, foot spray if you like as well. You're going to set up this three ball drill. It's a, like the three on a die, 45 degrees, and the ball, it will, it will set up as ball, club head, ball, club head, ball, okay? Let's say you're hitting it more off of the toe. We're going to try to move that ball closer to the heel. So what you're going to do is instead of this ball being center, you're going to bring it a little bit closer to the inside ball. Maximum room here, minimum room here, and we're going to try to take a shot where we hit just the heel. If you're moving that, or if the sweet spot is closer to your heel, you're going to move this ball closer to the outside ball. Now why is it the three, like the three on a, on a die? We're trying to swing in to out, don't forget. If you swing in to out, either one of these balls won't be hit. If you're swinging out to in, you might hit the outside ball, maybe hit the inside ball. So this drill does two things. It helps you find the sweet spot. It also promotes you swinging in to out. And that, my friend, is paramount to where you get more distance. All right, so the good news is inside this video lies one, two, maybe three reasons why you're not getting the distance you should. So like anything else, don't rush this. Take your time. Be willing to put in the reps. It doesn't happen overnight. And once you find the aspect of your swing, trial three, that isn't working, start thumping the reps. Do it slow. Make sure you can feel the change you're trying to create, and then you'll enjoy full speed changes after some reps. All right, like all my videos, if it helped out, do me a favor, like, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you want to know more about this, if you want to know more about something else, do me a favor, put that in the comments below, and stay in the short grass.